Hi everyone, my name is Peter Faria and welcome back to another Day in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below, click on the bell to turn on the notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. My name is Pedro Faria and today we're going to be talking about how to connect your database using Outlook Designer, right? So it's going to be pretty straightforward to be honest. You're going to be using the input data tool to connect to a database. You do have the option of using the in-database category at the top, but that is a topic for a different video. Over here, we're going to be clicking the drop-down. And instead of going to the regular files that we can see over here, we're going to go to data sources. You also do have the option of setting up the gallery connection, but this as well is a topic for a different video. Today, we're going to be focusing only on this over here, right? So click on data sources, and then you can see the list of options that you have available to you, right? The most used ones are, of course, Oracle and MS SQL Server. But at the same time, you do have an extensive list of other connections, including, for example, MySQL, uh, a bunch of Amazon databases over here, Salesforce, but to be honest, you're going to have a lot of different options, Snowflake, for example, and a lot of others that you can actually use over here, right? Some connections over here will require you to download an additional tool, so you just have to click on the Quick Connect option sometimes, uh, or other options, and then out to just move you to the download page but it's gonna be pretty simple and pretty straightforward and then at the top over here if you go all the way to the right you can see the connections category that you can definitely use afterwards for my case today i'll be using the mysql connection right so i have locally a mysql connection so i'm going to click on odbc over here and you can see that is already set up so how do we do this well you can click on the odbc admin and then a new window will show up. I can drag it over here. If I go to the system DSN option to apply this for my whole computer, you can see over here the MySQL connection. So all you have to do is just connect your driver via ODBC over here. And then as long as that's working, you will be able to connect to your database, right? So you can see it is right over here. This one is this one over here. Depending on the ODBC that you have set up, Sometimes you may or may not need to input your username over here. In this case, for my setup, I do not need you. So that's why it's going to go blank. But sometimes you will be required, all right? So I can just go ahead and cancel. And over here, all I have to do is then click OK. If I had more than one option, then it would show up my drop down over here. I can click OK. Give it a second and then we can see the Visual Query Builder, right? In the Table tab, we can see a summary of all the tables. You hit Refresh over here. Now, more tables have showed up. The Visual Query Builder is probably the most used one because it gives you a more visual approach to what you may want to do. For example, I can go to the new scheme over here and I have the Transaction 2018 file, in this case, table. I can double click on it now I have loaded my table, right? So this is a table, not a view, but of course you're gonna be able to work with it. If I wanna select a specific column, I can just select over here. I'll be able to, for example, do some joining, some unioning, and a lot of different things, of course, you can do in SQL, right? So this over here kind of required us a whole separate video as well, because there's so much that we can learn from here. But the idea is, the Visual Query Builder will be the best place for you to just start your database joining, right? In my case, all I want to do is just load the transaction 2018 file, right? If I go to the SQL editor, you can see the Outlook actually writes out the post SQL code for me. So if you do feel comfortable writing SQL, you can of course just write in SQL over here, and then you'll be able to at the bottom test your query. So if I click on over here. There you go. I can just click OK. 
And now that I have selected table as well as validated that my SQL uh, code script is correct, I should be able to just hit OK. As I do that, now Altrix has loaded that specific table for me right over here. If you want to edit that, just click over here and then you'll be able to edit your SQL script. For this, I'll hit run. And there you go. So for example, let's say that all I actually was trying to do is get a summary of the sales amount and state. I can click on metadata, check it out the state and sales amount are both string. So I'll use a select tool to update sales amount to be, for example, a double. Then I'll use a summarize tool to simply group by state and calculate total sales amount. I can just run the workflow to load what end result should be. And there you go. And what I'm going to do now is then write back to the database. So I can click on in and out and now I'll be writing to the database using the output data tool. I'll drag it in. Same thing, select the drop down. Go back to data sources, click on ODBC again for the MySQL in this case. Same steps, click OK. But now this looks different, right? I don't see the other view because now I'm just writing to the database. And I can call this state total 2018. I'll hit OK. Actually, I just make a copy of this real quick. I'll hit OK. And then you can see I am creating a new table, right? So if I just run the workflow, there you go. I've just created a new table. So I can drag in real quick into the stream, the actual database. I'll just hit refresh over here. Then you can see the state's total now shows up right over here. I can do simply do a select star from this. I'll run the workflow, in this case, the script, and then you can see the information over here. So this concludes our video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I wish you guys a beautiful day. See you guys next time. Thank you so much. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment them below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.